Assault is one of the most popular classes in Battlefield 5 because it's got some extremely powerful starter weapons and it's just all around fun to use and the class that most players gravitate towards when they start playing. It also happens to have some real variation in the weapons and a lot of them play very differently. So in this video, as concise as possible, I'm going to talk you through each one with some hot tips and go through its strengths and weaknesses as well as what specialization trees I've chosen to go with because I know a lot of people ask that. So starting with the very first unlockable weapon, the Sturmgewehr 1.5. This is a very strong starting weapon and of course with all of the starting weapons in BF5 it comes with specializations already unlocked for you. This gun is really good at close to medium range. In fact, with a 670 RPM rate of fire, you can win most battles up close. That being said, it's not really that much of a slouch at distance either. So tap firing it can yield some good results at distance, even maybe selecting single fire mode at times, but it's not quite on par with say the STG in that respect. It is the second fast firing assault weapon though after the M1907 and well we'll get onto that monster shortly. I tend to use the Sturmgewehr 1.5 with a NIDAR sight because I'm not very keen on the aperture sight but if you wanted to you could throw on a three times. I tend to use this as more of an up close and personal weapon though so I keep with the close range sight. So it's really great on maps like Devastation and in terms of specialization trees I redid mine slightly from the default ones and I went full right hand side. You basically have two trains of thought here. Right hand side is most accuracy based and left is best for hip fire for the most part. There really isn't a right or wrong here though. Go with what you feel works best for you but I prefer having the extra aim down the sight speed and reduction in horizontal recoil. The last perk is being able to move faster while in aim down the sight mode which I also really like. Next up is the Gewehr 43 and this is a little pocket gem. I really enjoy playing with this because honestly you can snipe people across the map with it. A few well placed shots and you can counter snipe snipers all day long. If you remember when we first tested the F5 this was actually available on the medic class but it got moved and I think this works best with a 3 times sight and you really want to keep your distance and pick players off because that's where this gun can shine. Longer range maps like Twisted Steel or Arras work really well. You can get up close if you want to as well and you can even put a close range sight on it but I think it's better with a long range scope and the hip fire isn't that great either. It can get you out of a jam but don't rely on it. Always aim with this thing. I've mixed up my specialization tree on this one and gone mostly right hand side with a twist at the end. Rather than opt for reduced aim down the sight speed I went for 10% faster bullets and that's going to make shooting at those distant targets much easier. The reason for this is that my mantra with this gun is to sit back and pick targets off so aim down the sight speed isn't really that useful to me but hitting moving targets definitely is. Also on the left side is better hip fire and faster reloads which again aren't really that useful for the way that I play with this gun. The last specialization is a toss up though because on the right side you have added accuracy when stationary which is really useful or less recoil upwards which is the one that I went for to help with follow up shots. And you know what I really enjoy this gun it's not my favorite but it can be pretty beast. And following on from that we've got a similar kind of weapon with the M1A1 carbine. This is a weapon that was available during the beta test so many players may already be familiar with it. The interesting thing about this gun though is that you can fire it pretty much as fast as you can click as it seemingly has no trigger delay. The stats say it's got a rate of fire of 450 RPM but because you can tap it really fast it gives you so much more versatility up close while still having some benefits at range too. I played close quarters with this gun and a bit more at range and it can do both pretty well and I tested out the reflex sight which is pretty nice but it can be hard to track players with and the medium range 3 times scope also worked nicely. Hit fire is okay too especially if you upgrade it like I have and the M1 is very similar in a lot of ways to the last assault 
unlock the Gewehr 1.5 and I'm not sure which one I prefer but let's talk specs of the M1. So because I wanted to use this weapon up close most of the time I went with a spec tree that favoured that so I chose aiming down the sight faster over reduced vertical recoil and then improved accuracy while in aimed fire and moving combined with moving 60% faster while aiming and finally better hip fire accuracy. I didn't feel I needed the extra bullet velocity here because I wanted to use this weapon as a close range gun and while the extra magazine size is appealing I really wanted to get those extra movement benefits. Moving on now to my favourite gun in the assault class and one of the most insane weapons in the entire game. The M1907 SF or as I like to call it the AEK of Battlefield 5. This gun is a close range monster that empties its mag faster than you can blink. It can be tricky to take out multiple enemies with it though, not because you can't kill them in time, but it can actually sometimes be very easy to shoot way too many bullets at one guy and then you end up needing to reload. You do need to try and conserve ammo at times. Single fire can be pretty good at range too, and when you put it into single fire it feels a lot like the M1907 from BF1 which I really enjoyed using. The best thing about this gun though is that it can take out almost anyone at close range just because of the rate of fire, but also at medium ranges. What I tend to do on the mouse is just two quick clicks and because the rate of fire is so fast you actually send like three to six bullets from doing that if you leave it in full auto so you can just drop people at medium range by literally clicking your mouse twice give it a go and you'll see what I mean now the way that you spec this gun out makes a big difference too but it was a pretty simple choice for me I went full right hand side here I gave myself the extra aim on the sight speed, a larger mag up from 16 bullets to 21, I think you need that, improved accuracy in aimed fire while moving, and then lastly 60% faster speed while aiming. There's a pattern here. On the left hand side you've got extra hip fire accuracy but with this weapon it's so fast to aim down the sight anyway especially with that extra aim down the sight speed that I felt I didn't need that. Also bayonet charge who really wants that it's not for me. So this was a pretty straightforward setup again there are no rights and wrongs here you can easily change this up to feel completely different if that's your thing. I would keep a close range scope on this gun because you really want to be up close and personal to get maximum benefit from it unless you want to pop a medium range scope on it and just tap people from a distance in single fire mode but in that case why not use the Gewehr. Overall though the 1907 I have to say my favourite gun in the assault class arguably in the entire game. Up next is the Turner SMLE. This is another semi-auto rifle, very similar in a lot of ways to the Gewehr 43. In fact, they are remarkably similar in how they work and how I play with them, to be honest. Their stats are extremely similar, with the main difference being that you can fire the SMLE a bit faster, and it's quite noticeable. The Gewehr 43 does a bit more damage though, so I prefer to play with this weapon with a 3 times scope on it, much like the Gewehr 43, and you could spec it up as a close range gun and put a closer range scope on it, but honestly, I think the M1A1 carbine or the Gewehr 1.5 would be much better suited for that task. With that in mind I went full right hand side again giving extra movement benefits and accuracy while moving. That being said I really did want the larger magazine size on the left hand tree but I didn't want to sacrifice movement to get it and I don't really hip fire that much with any of the weapons in the game so I really didn't feel that I needed that extra hip fire benefit. Moving on, we're here at the classic, the STG, and this is arguably the best average all-around assault rifle in the assault class. This weapon just feels brilliant to use in my opinion. You can get up close into the action on say the sea flag on Narvik, or even sit back and tap people on Arras. You have lots of flexibility with this gun. It also drops people with very accurate fire. At close to medium range you can either micro burst, say four to five shots at a time, or even go full auto if you feel comfortable. The recoil pattern is not difficult to learn or control, so it's pretty easy to do that on the mouse. I'm not a huge fan of the reflex sight on this gun though, so I tend to go with one of two options. I either stick to the iron sights because they look pretty good, or I put on the medium range scope which let me tell you absolutely works a treat with this gun. I don't feel as though I'm at a huge disadvantage up close and you can really shred people at medium range. If you haven't tried the medium range scope on this gun you need to, don't forget about it. In terms of specs I've gone mostly right with the left hand twist again, you may have noticed I haven't really chosen the faster weapon switch on any weapon and I stick to that here instead of choosing aim down the sight speed. I've then gone for less horizontal recoil so side to side recoil rather than improved hip fire. Horizontal recoil is a bit more difficult to control than vertical so you want to 
minimize that as much as possible and i would have loved an extra 60 percent movement speed when aiming but that's not available unless i went for the left hand tree so instead i've got to settle for improved fire when stationary Finally, I'll go for improved accuracy in aimed fire while moving because the other option is reduced vertical recoil and I feel that I can easily control that myself. So we're coming towards the end now and we hit the Selbstlader 1916. This is a game pretty similar to the Gewehr 43 and the Turner SMLE but it does fire noticeably slower. The flip side to that is that it's got a 26 round capacity out of the gate which is a lot, double what the other two I just mentioned have and this weapon comes into its own when you are just holding an area say on Hamada you can pick away at enemies for what seems like a lifetime before you've got to reload and if you land those headshots you can drop multiple people without breaking a sweat of course if you get up close you're going to struggle because of its poor hip fire and slow rate of fire but that's why you have to play to this gun's strengths I like the sound it makes too and it's a good long range rifle for certain maps I personally wouldn't bother playing with this with a close range scope I would just throw on a three times and prosper when it comes to the spec tree I made a bit of a compromise here I first chose to get that extra bullet speed for hitting first further away moving targets which is fine but normally I would go for extra movement speed while aiming and extra accuracy but instead I stuck to the left hand side because I really wanted the faster rate of fire to make this gun that bit better. The upside to this was that I also gained less recoil. Last of all I chose not to bother with the bipod because honestly I just didn't want or need it and instead I went for the improved accuracy when stationary. And last but not least we've got the Gewehr 1.5. You may be forgiven for thinking that this gun looks a lot like the Sturm Gewehr 1.5 that's the default assault weapon and you'd be right. This is a kind of semi-auto version of that weapon but don't let that put you off it's very very good. I personally tend to use this one a bit like the M1A1 as an up close and personal assault weapon but just like all the others you could strap a medium range scope on it to pick people off at a distance if you wanted to. You can't fire this off as fast as you can with the M1A1 but it does do slightly more damage. It's also got a really large 31 round capacity. So when it comes to weapon specs this one is another easy one. Full right hand side. Left side is all about improved hip fire and switching or reloading your weapons faster and I think that promotes sloppy games gameplay so the right hand side gives you increased accuracy while aiming faster aim down the sight and faster movement when aiming all things that i quite clearly enjoy so there we have it guys i hope you enjoyed that all in all i think there's a good selection of assault weapons and while some are very similar i do think the spec trees give you a chance to change up how the weapon works to your liking i would have to say though that my top three favorites are the m1907 the stg and then the gewehr 43 all very strong choices and that's all for today folks i hope you enjoyed this weapons guide for the assault class in bf5 if you did leave a like and a comment down below thank you that would be very much appreciated and perhaps a share if anyone you know is looking for a guide like this if you didn't like it dislike it and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more battlefield 5 content thanks again and i'll see you in the next one